Hey, my name is Graham Reed, also known as Graham of Legend, and I am a Jamaican indie game developer based in New York. I'm currently working on a game called Super Space Glow, which is an endless gunner set in space with epic dogfights and chill low five beats. So, a little about my background in game dev. I went to a college called SCAD, the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I studied not game dev. <laughs> Actually, I studied motion graphics, which was pretty dope. It's just basically graphic design in motion. Coming from Jamaica, I have grown up with games my whole life and I have always just loved games. I mean, like, look at this picture. <laughs> this is me at like one year old, I think. And I had a Super Mario kick and I've been just a huge Nintendo fan ever since then. Huge gaming fan ever since then. And I'll never forget when I was about four, I got a Super Nintendo. I remember my dad walking into the room and <laughs> he had the big box and he was like, hey, happy birthday, let's go. And yeah, we, we played it. We played Super Metroid. My first game ever, and it was hard. <laughs> we couldn't beat the first level. We couldn't escape from the ship. It kept blowing up. Yeah, it just was hard. But it, I'll never forget that moment. I'll cherish it for my whole life. But I never knew you could actually make games. Like, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, that's something that oh, you make at Nintendo in Japan or at Xbox or PlayStation or whatever. You know, it's not it's not something that one person could do. Looking back, no, it's funny because. Obviously, Flash games exist and those are made by small, like one or two person teams. And yeah, that's, that's game development, but no one was thinking about that at that time, you know? So then, how did I actually get into game dev? Well, thanks to my friend Bobby, he decided in 2012, at the end of our college career, that we wanted to make a game. Because he was in game dev at that time. And we decided to do the Global Game Jam with a, another friend of ours named Audley, another one named Ramon. What came from that was we made a game called Shapes and Sounds, The Shape Shooter. And it's like, at that moment, we were like, yo, we can make games. This is not a, a thing that's reserved for just the elite, just the huge 100 person, 200 person, million dollar budget teams. Like, no, four college students can make a game and it's sick. Especially because at that point, we made it for Android. And of course, before that, it's either you made it a PC game or you had a publisher and your game shipped out to millions of people. And yeah, we obviously, <laughs> obviously don't have that kind of budget. So after Shapes and Sound, I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I kind of want to look more into this. So from that came my first solo effort called Hecticube, which came out in 2015 on Android and iOS. And it was as simple as a game. Like, that was my first foray into coding, into programming, into Unity. And I've been a Unity developer ever since. But it was fun. Like, I am an artist. I'm a designer. I'm an art director by trade. So me getting into the programming side of things has been... <laughs> it's been a journey, but it's been fun nevertheless. While working on Hecticube, I was like, yes, I'm going to do this full time. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to figure it out. I'll freelance to make money on the side when I need it. And that's going to be my life. But then Snapchat came along and it was Snapchat. I was like, yo, I'll never get this opportunity again. When am I ever going to work at a successful startup tech company ever again? You can't predict that. It was an amazing experience. I was there for six years and I've made a lot of dope friends, a lot of dope memories, but it also sidelined my game development journey. And last year in 2021, I was like, it's time. I need to go and pursue my dreams. I need to go and make games because ultimately, that's where my passion has been since day one. So on July 4th, 2021, <laughs> yes, Independence Day, I decided, hey, it's time for me to go. And since then, I've been a solo indie developer. Which leads me to my sponsor for today's video. Me, <laughs> like, <laughs> it's my first video. You think I'm a sponsor? Like, absolutely not. So please, if you want to support me, please like, subscribe, share, and do all the other things that people always tell you to do because that's very helpful. All right, so that's a little bit about me, but what I want to do is channel. I actually enjoy communicating with my audience, with my fans, with my friends, with my colleagues. And I think that YouTube is just a great way to do that. It's a great way to share my journey. And so what I plan to do is I plan to use this channel to share my entire game development journey starting with Super Space Club. You'll get to benefit from all the things I've learned and all the mistakes i made because, trust me, there are heavy mistakes. And if you're not into game development, or rather if you're not a game developer, but you're still interested in what goes into game development, then hey, maybe you get something out of this too, I hope. Like I'm just trying to shine a light on 
the whole game development process. And also, I don't see any people that look like me making YouTube content. Not a lot anyway, there are examples, shout out to you guys. But yeah, I don't see any Jamaicans, I don't see any black people, I don't see any Caribbean people, like it's just empty. I don't hope to be the only person, like I really hope that people start to make more content. But for now, you got me and we're gonna make this a thing. So I plan to focus on three things. Firstly, I want to focus just on my, my game development journey. So whatever games I make, game jams I do, just art directing, any, anything that is part of my indie life. Secondly, I want to talk about just indie game development on a whole and like giving advice, advice because I mean, I don't know everything and just sharing my thoughts on new trends and just that kind of stuff, right? And then thirdly, maybe do tutorials maybe we'll see because like i don't feel like i'm an expert on anything but there have been times when i've learned something and someone else doesn't know that so i can help somebody out there i hope so those are my three focuses for this youtube channel and yeah that's all i got what do you want to see me talk about what do you want to see me make a video about what kind of games do you want to see me make let me know welcome to my channel it's gonna be a fun journey Oh, it's still there. Yo, <laughs> thank you for still being here. Thank you for actually sticking around to the end of the video. I, it's, it's very helpful for my channel and I appreciate you, like I truly do. So again, thank you and see you later.